Welcome to Breath Alcohol Technician Training. My name is Troy Overholt. I'm an RN, MBA, Certified Oct Health Nurse Specialist and Certified Case Manager. In this course, you will receive the classroom training necessary to then take the hands-on training to become a Certified Breath Alcohol Technician under the federal regulations. You will see on the slide that the requirements to become a certified breath alcohol technician are well prescribed. The Department of Transportation created a model course for training to standardize the training available. It is important to understand that there are two parts to the requirements. The first is the classroom training, which this course will fulfill if you successfully complete it. The second part is the hands-on learning and testing portion. You must complete seven error-free mock tests, which include normal tests and also several scenarios that are not a simple negative test which you may encounter as a breath alcohol technician. Any person who is currently certified and knowledgeable of the DOT breath alcohol testing methods can do the hands-on portion after you have successfully completed this course. In order to be fully certified, you will need to complete this course and complete the hands-on training. The hands-on training requires an affidavit signed by the student and the instructor. The Code of Federal Regulations, or CFR, specifically states that the student should understand that they are responsible for maintaining the integrity of the testing process, ensuring the privacy of employees being tested, and avoiding conduct or statements that could be viewed as offensive or inappropriate. We will talk almost exclusively about breath alcohol technicians. The regulation does talk about screening test technicians, which are not qualified to perform a confirmatory test. This course is designed to cover the necessary information to meet the level of breath alcohol technician, which exceeds and includes the role of the screening test technician. If you look to the left side of your screen, you'll see a little comment box that says resources. Throughout this program, anything that is downloadable or there, when I want to supply a link, it'll show up in the resources section. In this particular lecture, there are two resources. One is a link to the Code of Federal Regulations 49 Part 40. The other is a download of the slide that we just looked at so you can see the text better.